Good morning. I felt a word burning in me just a little while ago while I was just getting out of the shower and um, getting myself ready for the day. But it seems perhaps just things are a little bit more difficult for me that shouldn't be so difficult. Um, and that's kind of the message that I wanted to share. There's, I believe there's a lot of you out there that have many desires uh, that you would like to walk out in for good, but you have been prohibited from doing so due to your current life circumstances that maybe you didn't even choose to be in, but due to them, and it's for his glory, um, if we walk out that which we should walk out in, um, that he can redeem it all and turn it all around. So um, this is why he has provided the opportunity for which I have mentioned several times for a place to come and be who he created you to be since before the foundation of the earth and to walk in his ways. And uh, this is um, what will offer the opportunity or this is what will open the doors in order for you to um, walk out your desires in a healthy whole way and so um, yeah we've been in put in situations to make it literally impossible to do so but he is the Elohim of the impossible and he makes a way where there is no way when we step out and do it so um, he is his mercy is so extraordinary and I will sing of it and praise it, praise him for it for all eternity. And I'm so grateful. And I want many to join me in that. And so we have a chance to really turn things around for extraordinary good. And there is loads of opposition unto that because there are loads of those who don't want to see that happen. But if you take those steps of faith and obedience, he will make the mountains move and uh, it's, it will be glorious. And so there's nothing he cannot do when um, we step out in faith and obedience. And I am grieved and sorry for the times that I've been late or missed things, but I have gone through extraordinary cycles of insanity um, and been ambushed by extraordinary darkness, extraordinary measures, amounts of time. And so he has been so faithful and merciful to raise me up and resurrect me time and time again for the sake of the righteous cause which he has put inside of me. Souls, loads of souls, preservation, good news for mankind. Now, have you remembered who you were created before the foundation of the world now that you know the name of your maker and seen his wonder working power and extraordinary measures of divine movement and empowerment and protection and deliverance and salvation? And so for those who have the ability to do so um, in your current circumstances, now's your time to come quickly without delay so things can be extraordinarily turned around and greater than anything we could ever ask, think, or imagine because this is who he is. He is the redeemer of whose lives have been um, just like massive destruction. He redeems our life from destruction for those who have sought him and hoped in him, hoped in him and put his, their faith in him and have been sought out by him. Have you been sought out by him? Has he found you? This is the maker of heaven and earth, Yahuwah, the creator, the one who is everlasting from everlasting to eternity. 
and he has such great plans if you obey stop listening to the massive amount of lies that abound and surround there is so much truth to be found if you listen now there is this is why we need one another in the flesh together in the flesh because we cannot do it alone he can he can he helps his chosen ones and he helps like his servants but he has opened the door are you answering are you answering he has opened the door for extraordinary mercy and salvation and life in such extraordinary measure but you have to make the choice and take the action and so um I mean, he, he works all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So those are okay. But there is a whole huge population that that will not be so if they don't take the um, appropriate steps, the proper steps of action in order to turn things around for themselves and lots of people lots mankind for the sake of mankind the human race so the door is open have you turned from your wicked ways forsaken them and turned unto righteousness and taken proper acts proper steps walking out in action making haste to do them so that things can be turned around for extraordinary good, for the sake of the many, many, instead of a small, it could be many. And that's, that's his hand of mercy extended, but it is coming to a conclusion very quickly. And so, there's no time to waste and no time to delay. That's his word.